In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the indirect function here in Google Sheets. So the indirect function allows you to pass a range as a text string or a string, then converting that string again to a range with the same function, with the indirect function. So for example, I have some numbers right here and I want to get a total. So usually what we're going to do is to start with sum, then select that range and press enter. There you have it. Now with the indirect function, as you see its formula right here, we have the cell reference as a string. Our cell reference with this would be A3 to A7. That's our range. So A3, let me just type it as a string and A7. There you have it. So we have our string right there. So if we try and do the same thing right here with the indirect formula, this is how we're going to do it. Equal sign sum then put in your indirect formula and within that indirect formula you have your cell reference as a string so this is exactly what that is so if i select that and press enter i will get the same results now again the b3 is referring to this string right here which is the same range as this one a3 to a7 so that's how the indirect converts that string into the same range that it is. So again, let's try that and let's input this as it is. So again, equal sign, sum, indirect, put in our cell reference as string. So in quotations, I'm going to be typing A3 to A7, closing quotations and press enter and we get the same result. So if we view these formulas right here, go to view, show, and click on formulas, you'll see the differences that we've made. But again, if you see B3, B3 is referring to this string right here, which is the exact same thing right here, only in quotations, which would turn that range into a string. So that's basically what indirect function does. But when do we actually use it? Here's one example that I'm going to show you. Let's just put that back to the results and go to this one. So here in my tab, I want to have a summary of all the sales that I've had for this quarter right here. And I'm going to put them all right here. So what I can do is to do a cell reference of equals, go to that tab and select the cell and press enter. And there it is. Do the next one for May, equal sign. Go to the May tab, select the cell, and press enter. And one more for June, equal sign. Go to the June tab, select the cell, and press enter. So we've done that easily because we only have a few right here just for the example, but what if you have a lot? You have a lot of tabs right here that you need to add into this summary, not just this month, maybe the rest of the year or also including the next year. So doing this manually would not be an efficient way to do this. So going back to the indirect function, if we go to view and again show our formula right here, we have the name of the tab, exclamation point, and the cell reference of E3. Now, if you're familiar with joining text, like with an ampersand, concatenate, join text, we can easily recreate this by just doing equal sign, selecting that cell right there, ampersand, in quotations, exclamation point, E3. If I press enter, we have our string. Now, if we add our indirect function with this one, let's put in indirect it will be giving us the same results. Now with this formula, we can easily drag this down and have the rest of our data right here filled out without manually going to the tab and doing a cell reference for each of the tabs that we want to add to our summary. So if we double click on this, here is our formula. We have the cell reference, which is our text right there added with another string, which is in quotations, the exclamation point and the E3. And here we have the same results as doing this cell reference right here. And there you have it. 
So I've used this function in another video where we created two dependent dropdown lists and also in the video where we do advanced conditional formatting. So do check those videos out and that's how to use the indirect function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.